Hatay is first and foremost a water city. Here's the Asi River. It twists and turns around Hatay, playing a role in its foundation. It draws a ring of abundance everywhere it goes, deeply nourishing the surroundings. And the sea. This is the Mediterranean. This is another face of water of Hatay. The sea ascends to the mountains with the right winds. The sea always faces us here. The Samanda shoreline. This 14-kilometer strip is a spawning zone for the Careta Careta tortoise. The natural beauty of the sea goes further afield to encompass Iskenderun, Dirtyol and Erzin. Four seasons, the colors of the sea and the life-giving sources surround the city and the region. And Hatay is a mountain. The Amanos mountain range is full of demir clouds and breezes of life from dusk till dawn. There are 250 indigenous species in the Amanos Mountains. The wind begins to blow from the sea on Samanda. The wind that blows along the length of the Amic Plain not only shapes the climate, it also presents alternative energy opportunities. The windmills fill the eyes with their images. The mountain is life in its every state. Plains, the Amic Plains. There's another story here. It writhes like a living entity. It is the mother of all planes, involved in everything from cotton to corn, from animal husbandry to fruit groves. The tumuli on the plain are the footprints of past civilizations. Winding the length of the plain, the Asi River seeps through the light from above and below, in the midst of the games of time. It spreads over the plain, sets up the city, and embraces the sea. This is the source of the agricultural diversity of Turkey, with harvests occurring thrice yearly. It is priceless. Hatay is a mosaic. The civilizations of the past are a ritual of thanks offering the splendor of Hatay. The desire for immortality intertwined with love. It is the call to meet the colorful music of the past which has reached to today. The mosaics are the universal light beams that have spread from Hatay to the rest of the world. 
stone by stone, line by line, face by face, to sing out the common tale of humanity. Everything starts from marble and stretches out to plants, rendering them into a symbolic immortality. As a trace of pictures, the mosaic spreads through culture and belief and life. From this aspect, the Hatay Museum is the second largest mosaic museum in the world. The mosaic of Hatay is made complete with the color it acquired from Turkish sovereignty, which began with the Selçuks of Anatolia. Hatay first succumbed to Turkish rule without a fight in the face of the just administration of Kutal Musholu, Suleiman Bey, in 1084. Though it changed hands several times later on, it confirmed its identity as a Turkish city when it was made part of the Ottoman Empire in 1516. Hatay was occupied by the French shortly after the end of World War I. Hatay was put back on the agenda after the establishment of the Republic of Turkey, whereas the independent state of Hatay was officially established through the personal initiative of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk on the 2nd of October, 1938. After an existence which lasted about a year, it ended the brief yearning when it joined the Republic of Turkey through a parliamentary decision ratified on June 29, 1939. Hatay is a city of faith. The arteries of three holy religions beat from here. Here's St. Peter, the world's first cave church. Sanctity first secluded its holy light in this cave in Hatay. Later on, it gradually spread step by step. Every year, Christians from throughout the world pass through this threshold with the spirit of making a pilgrimage. Here's Habibi Nejar. Islam descended from the foothills to the heart of the city. The Quran has brought its holy light to this place. A holiday prayer at the break of day from yesterday to today, reinvigorating the devout. And many other mosques and symbolic structures. Here's the Grand Mosque. Here's Saramie. Saramie is adjacent to the church. The cross and crescent are sequestered under the same line, under an orange tree. Right next door is a Jewish synagogue. Time is open and clear as well. While Holy Hatai is needing it, it is also needed. The call to prayer, the belfry and cantor grasp the ascending cypress tree. This is Hatai. This is Antakya. Antakya is a city that lives in the present, as it did in the past. Uzun Bazaar. 
Uzun Bazaar is a cornucopia of color, a cacophony of sound. There is as much living diversity as there are people in Hatay. Uzun Bazaar, corners everywhere. A panoply of colors, all sorts of aromas and playful lights. The bazaar is not only an indicator of shopping and the economy, it's an indicator of an attachment to life. And Hatai is a feast. It's as if cultures display their true talents in the form of cuisine. Those who drop by Hatai at least once in their lives to taste the flavorful cuisine will consider themselves privileged for the rest of their lives. Special delicacies such as ichli köfte, known locally as oruk, stuffed grape leaves, eggplant floating like a fresh bride. Pepper is no longer considered spicy, but relished with each meal. And then there's kyat kebab, hummus, and a cracked wheat dish known regionally as ashur. Desserts, walnuts, sweet squash, and a whole lot more. Not to mention kunefe. Kunefe may very well be Hatai's second name. Kunefe is held in high esteem on practically every street here. The Hatai chef wizards prepare such uniquely delicious flavors that those who pass through Rehamla without trying the salty chicken dish will consider something is lacking in their lives. As in the city center, mirthful dining makes life exuberant in the restaurants of Harbie, regarded as an excursion spot. While on the subject of Harbie, Harbie is Hatai's thrill of life. Water is not only the sound of waterfalls, it is the center of elegant pleasures and an endearment to life. As it is, those who see this place once will always want to stay here. The silk fabrics woven on looms in the vicinity charm those who are touched by their designs and hues. The wealth here is the tomb of woven fabric. Each district competes covertly with each other. Kurukan is praised for its Beazit Ibistami. Cotton and melons are the ornaments in its soil. The Kumlu hot springs are a source of water. Dörtyol and Erzin are embellished with citrus groves. Samanda is the face of Hatai looking towards tourism. Altenuzu and Hassa are legendary for their olives as well as their grapes. Samanda is famous for its seaside as well as its reeds. The finest reeds in the world are grown here. The sound of the reed flute was first heard here. Whooshing to and fro, their bodies wait in the patient light for that plaintive sound and burn there. Of course, that's not all. The endless seashore of Samanda and the unique Titus Tunnel dazzle the eyes. This millennia-old tunnel is as awe-inspiring for its human intelligence as it is for the struggle with nature. The visual richness presented to visitors today is full of surprises every season.
The culture and faith diversity is defined with examples of fine villages inhabited by Christians. Regardless of how much Hatay disperses around itself, a road will always lead to Iskenderun. One of Turkey's esteemed provincial districts, Iskenderun is a place where the heart of industry and trade beats from its harbor and steel factories. Here is Iskenderun Harbor. Here is its iron and steel foundries of Turkey's notable institutions. Hatay opens out to the world in part thanks to these aspects. The richness of Hatay is sent abroad from here. Hatay is a manufacturing city. It can break its own record of agricultural production with even parsley. It competes with itself in soil fertility. Fields of peppers, olives, an everlasting supplement, the unwavering light of antiquity, cotton and a lot more. The organized industrial zone is another face of the manufacturer. Just the tractor trailers based in Hatay show that the city has spread into a myriad of different fields. Its fleet of tractor trailers are the action network of commerce. For a long time, its natural beauty and diverse species have also meant the making of Hatay's traditional body care and cleanser products. One of these is its legendary laurel leaf soap. Hatay is gaining a fine reputation in the field of natural care products, which are becoming quite popular throughout the world. Hatay is a developing and expanding city. The improving political relations with Syria in recent years have invigorated Hatay's social and economic life. With its thorough renovation, the Gilve Gözü border gateway is the vision gateway of Turkey. The traditional Bayram greeting exchanges and holiday embracing that take place at the border are steps that are bound to reinvent the future. In fact, these greeting exchanges and holiday embracing are an essential part of the city's own unique culture. People of all faiths and social groups come together in the city center and continue to reinforce Hatay's traditional makeup. Its new airport will further increase Hatay's cultural, economic and international strategy. Hatay beckons. It beckons with its hotels. beckons with its health, world-class curative spas, hotels and resorts. Its boutique hotels open their windows to the authentic corners of Hatay. It beckons with its fortress. It beckons with Kutulushja Desi the first avenue in the world to be illuminated. It beckons with its high-tala dessert served in its coffee houses. 
it beckons with its people. Babuk Shekhar! Babuk Shekhar! Zaza Babuk Shekhar! It beckons with its beverages. It beckons with its streets. Those streets are regarded as the world's common cultural heritage. Its timeless coffee houses in its corners live with moss and churches that sprout citrus trees in art history masterpiece gardens. a city today as it was yesterday 